everybody, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? I am doing okay. Um, making myself do some creating because if I don't, I'm going to go stir crazy. So, um, pain is quite high today. Uh, but, you know, we just have to deal with it some days. And today is one of my some days. Anyways, what we're here to do today is another pick 10. This is the deck of cards by Kayla Givehand. It's called the Mixed Media Inspiration Deck. And I bought the deck plus the expansion pack. And I bought these a few years ago. Um, if you've watched some of my videos, you'll see where I've, I've used these in the past. So what I'm going to do, we just, um, we just shuffled. And we just, what did we just do? We cut the deck. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And instead of going reverse, I'm just going to start at the top of this pile. All right, so let's see what we've got going on today. Number one, include a tag, label, or envelope. Okay, you guys have seen this journal before. Um, I've done my other pick tens in here, and we're going to start. So let me find myself a tag, a label, or an envelope, and we'll be right back. Okay, after digging, whoops, for 15 minutes, 20 minutes, I'm going to use this tag. Um, I was actually looking for my painted labels, which I still have yet to find. I'll find them. All right, so we're going to include this tag. That's number one. Number two, we've got doodle or draw random shapes. All right, let me doodle or draw random shapes. Um, just going to use a Sharpie. Is that a thick one? Yeah. Doodle or draw random shapes, huh? Mm, come on, Sharpie. I love my circles. There's something about circles. I always have fun with them. Alright, so we doodled or drawed random shapes. Next, drip or spray watered down paint. Ooh, this will be fun. Alright, let me get my paint out. I'll be right back. All right, so what I've got here is a little bit of golden primary yellow and a little bit of golden um, green gold. So I'm just going to water it down now. And we're going to start with the yellow. And we're going to drip or splatter or drip or whatever. You know what? I want to cover up this other one. Hold on. Hold that thought. That works. All right. I'd like to do some drips, but first let's do the green. Okay, I like it. All right, let me dry this up. I'll be right back. All right, so I dried this, but um, the yellow and the green gold all kind of went the same. So I want another color. So I'm going to take some of this purple. This is the golden purple, and it's ultramarine violet. I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to water it down. And I'm going to take my fan brush. After I get all my yellow off it. Yellow. 
And we're going to do the same thing, only we're going to do it in purple. All right. I want another color. Another color. And then I want to drip it from this edge. Come on. I think I need to go get some more water. More water! Here, let me get my other water jug here. Doo -doo -doo. You know, this is so fun. Who could not have fun doing this stuff? You know? You just get to play and be messy. Alright, I think that's going to be it. Some bigger drops on here, why not? Do, 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 do. Alright, let me dry it up. We'll be back. Alright, so we did our drip or spray water down paint. So we're going on to the next one which is doodle hmm. doodle she says doodle let's grab some oh, I gotta get comfortable a little bit oh, let's see what we can doodle I love doing those things I don't know why circles and doodles Doodle. -doo. Um, let's see, let's go like this. Mm -hmm. Do you guys have a Oops, normal go-to doodle. That's still a little bit wet. We'll just pick it up. Um, I always go to circles, and I've been trying to make myself uh, use something different. So it's it's been challenging. Oh, that's wet too. Um, to actually use something different other than circles and loop-de-loops like I've got on here. Um, let's put some more. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. All right, so we did some more doodling. Let's see what's next. Draw something. Freehand sketch or trace. What am I going to draw? Freehand sketch or trace. You know what? I'm going to... Use my good old Sharpie. Um, I'm going to trace something right here. Come on, Sharpie. Don't, don't give up on me now. And I'm doing this in a sketchy manner because I don't it doesn't have to be perfect. And my there we go. My sharpie was running out. All right, so we just trace that. We'll see what happens after this. Hold on to that. Next, what have we got? Add numbers to your art. I can do that. Hold on. Alright, so I found some um, stick-ons with numbers, so we are going to add some numbers to our page. Doo -doo -doo. 
I like doing these pick tens. Um, you never know, <laughs> you have no idea, what you're going to end up doing. And what I like the best about it is exactly that. You have no idea. And it's very challenging to figure out how to come up with a page um, just based off the prompts. I know I did this um, way back with uh, Mike Deacon when he first came out with Mission Inspiration. And it takes a bit to, to figure out, oh, okay, I'm going to use this, now what do I do? Um, the good thing with the Mission Inspiration is you know ahead of time what the steps are. So you can kind of get an idea of you know, what you're going to come up with. Whereas this way, through the Art Junkie, you have no idea. Um, because you may get six prompts that say doodle, doodle, doodle. You, don't, you just don't know. So, let's see. There's nine. I'm just randomly putting numbers on here. Um, okay, so we've got our numbers on. got to put those back. What's next? Next we have a wild card. Choose your own technique. Hmm. I think what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to adhere this and then I'm going to doodle in some of the, the tag. So let's do that. Um, I want to put a small button there. Let me grab some stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, so my technique, what I'm going to do is use my tape runner and I'm going to adhere this. And I want it to stay down. I'm going to put that right there. And then what I want to do is find a button that I like. I found this little container. Um, if you guys are wondering. I know when I see people create, I always wonder where they find their, their goodies. But I found this container actually in Lowe's. If you go to their, um, it's in their hardware section. There we go, I want that yellow one. Uh, and just look for organizers. There's actually a, three different sizes of these, and I really like them. I have bigger ones for my metal embellishments, and then I have the smaller ones that um, I put this type of, of embellishments in. So, check them out if you're looking for something to sort out your embellishments. And then I just put a label in the front of them. So, okay, there's my wild card. What's next? Alternate two contrasting markers and pens and doodle away. Try, at, try holding both markers or pens in your hand at the same time and doodling around the surface. Hmm. Trying to think how I want to do this. Too contrasting. All right, let me think about this for a second. All right, um, I've decided I'm going to use purple and orange. Ugh. And I'm going to use them together. But you know what? To do these together, I'm just going to grab a little piece of masking tape. Come on, you. Sorry about that, guys. Get back here. <laughs> Ouch. I'm going to take a little piece of masking tape. I should have that nearby, huh? And I'm going to tape them together. <laughs> It'll be much easier to handle that way. So, let's play. We're supposed to doodle, huh? Alternating two contrasts and doodle away. Hmm. That's not going to work unless I go like that. <laughs> That's 
funny. All right, so we did our doodling, right? Do, 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 do. All right, that was fun. <laughs> now, let's see what the next step is. This looks like a, a big hot mess, doesn't it? Hopefully we'll be able to do some gesso or something here soon. All right, what's the next one? Next one is use an old toothbrush to splatter paint. I already splattered paint, but and I don't think I have a toothbrush here, but I do have a pippy thing here, so let's use that. We can break rules, right? Um, let's use some ink. I'm not using paint. I'm using ink today. So we're going to use our little pipsqueak here. to drip paint, or ink I should say. It's a bubble, a bubble, pop. Oh, another bubble. Fun. I know it's crazy, right? You're probably like, huh, oh, she's lost her mind. No. If I did, I lost a long time ago. Just playing. That's right. Just having fun. All right. So what I just did is I just kind of cleaned that out a little bit, which is all good. Okay. Let's, see. oh, that was nine. This is 10. Go wild. Choose your own technique. Well, guess what? We're going to dry this up, and then we're going to get some gesso out. So let me dry this up, and we'll be right back. Okay, for this last one, um, like I said, I'm going to take a little bit of gesso. I've got a little bit of black and a little bit of white here. And I just need to tone some of this down a little bit because some of it drives me crazy. So I really hope you guys, um, you know, join in. This is, it's fun. It's, it's challenging. And I think that's what I like about doing these uh, pick tens, is because you just have no idea where it's going to go. Um, you may end up having to do something, a technique that you know you're not used to doing, or that you're afraid of, or um, you've never in, you know enjoyed doing something of that nature. And it really challenges us to think outside the box and um, pick up a technique or play with a. a tool that we just normally don't mess with. So that's why I enjoy doing these. They're a lot of fun. Um, like I said, I just want to calm down some of this uh, background a little bit. It was driving me crazy. And I'm going to take the black and just kind of go around some of this edging. I don't really do 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 do. I don't really like that doodle that I did. So what a great way to cover it up. Uh, grab a little bit of this. This is glazing medium and I'm going to put just a touch on my black because I want to be able to, um, I need a new sponge. I want to be able to um, blend it a little bit with my hands. So that's why I just put a little bit of that on there. So now I can take it and I can actually blend it. 
up into, oops, which is good. There, that makes me happier. So I'm just going to work around the edge of this card here, which is good. So now if you'd rather know what you're doing or how you're doing, um, you know, as far as these type of prompt things, definitely check out Mike Deacon's uh, Inspiration Station as well because, you know, he does it a little bit different than the art junkie does. And both ways are a lot of fun. Okay. It's okay. I got a little bit on my flower, but that's okay. All right, not as much blending as I want to happen there, so we'll use the fingers. All right, now because I've done that, now I've got it way too bright, uh, too black, so I want to go around the edge and just kind of box it in. I'm just making a big mess of this page, aren't I? <laughs> You know what? That's okay. It's my mess. <laughs> right? And that's another thing that um, I find so intriguing about the mixed media world is you can do whatever you want. And if it turns into a mess, it turns into a mess. What's the worst that'll happen? I'll say, I don't really like that. And then you just turn the page and start again or play again or have fun. So, you know, don't let just a little mess get to you. I'm going to cover up some of this black. Got it a little bit too dark. That's okay. See? No big deal. No big deal. I probably should have just used um, a pen and went around that, but you know, hey, I got overzealous with my gesso here. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, what a mess. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so hopefully I can get rid of this mess I've made here. And like I said, what's wrong if you don't like it? Eh, you go over it with some paint, or you say to heck with it, this is the way it is, or you just play some more. So what I'm doing is I'm playing some more. Because I'm not quite ready to close the page on this, close the book on this page yet. So I am just playing with it, um, enjoying it, having fun, not worrying about it. So you can always clean up your mess. I wish I had one of these in this color, and I don't. But I do have a bright green, which I'm going to use around the outside of the page. Which is all good, because I'm not happy with that black. That black just didn't do it for me. So we're covering it up. Right? I think this is the most I've used these big Posca pens. Um, usually the what I use them for, and I normally just use the black, is to outline um, 
like um, ATCs or postcards or index cards that I do. That's usually what I use them for. Alright, so now we're going to take this. We're just going to randomly fix some of this here. And that's a fuzzy from my baby wipe. Okay, now let me let me think, let me think. Um we got pink and green, yellow. It's not really gonna show up on there though. Will it? It might. Do, 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 do. I've been thinking a lot um, over the last month or so about what kind of classes I'm going to do next year. And normally I do Lifebook, um, which I've done for like the past three years. But I'm not sure. I don't know what I want to do. Um, I don't know if I want to um, I know I'm doing Wanderlust next year because I have learned so much from that class um, about supplies I mean uh, Jamie goes through supplies and <clears throat> he does it in a way that first of all it's down to earth and second of all it's in a language I understand. Um, like I said, I have just learned a ton, 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 ton about that class. Or about my supplies from that class. So I definitely will be doing that one next year. Uh, let me, I want to grab a couple words to put on here. I'll be right back. Alright, so I got some words out. These actually were sent to me um, by Mike Deacon and I really like them. I love the fact that we've got it both in white and black. And they're on a cardstock, which is really cool. So um, I'm going to use this black one. Creativity. And I'm going to take my little sticker maker. And just stick it right in my little sticker maker. Sure, the stickies on the back of it. And do, do, do. where do I want to put it? Right here. Right here. And then I'm just going to use my Posco. Do some more doodles. So, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this today. Uh, as always, be kind. Check out um, Art Junkies page. I will put the link in the description box below. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. I answer all the comments. As always, I hope you enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. Uh, be kind. Have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.